Hi, I'm Miss Wong and I'm a teacher at Vernon Barford. I'm one of the Math and Science 7 online teachers. So I'm gonna take us through a little tour of the classroom. One of the really important things about online schooling is probably staying organized. And so I put a lot of information here so that you can always refer back to it. So if I go to classwork, um, at the very bottom, you'll see general. And so two important things are the timetable and the class calendar. So it can get confusing with our three-day rotation. So in the timetable, if I open it up, um, you can see that I have your day one, day two, day three schedule for the first quarter, as well as your matching schedule. So on day one, I would see you in the morning. And then this is specifically for math and science. Um, in the red is the time that I have attendance. So 10 minutes before the red zone is always when I open up my meet. Um, and then if I go back to our classroom, there's also the class calendar. So if you click open the class calendar, you'll see I have all the future test dates, assignment dates, and if you ever miss a class, it shows what we did today, right? And then if I go back, some more important things that you'll need are the math textbooks. So if I go over here, the math textbook, you just have to click on the chapter, open student book, and then if you select the PDF, um, you'll be able to access a digital textbook. There's also the answer key that is attached as well. So you can always click through and get your answers as well. Um, and then for science, we have a science web page that's over here. And if you click Science 7, you'll actually be able to find the textbook linked right along here. Um, and then if you click open to one of our units, you can actually see the slides that we use. And then the last thing is homework. So if you take a look inside of each section, so math chapter two, um, you can see these symbols over here mean it's material. So it's nothing to hand in. Anything with this clipboard logo is a homework. And so if you click it, it'll show which textbook questions. Um, sometimes there's challenge questions that are optional. For all homework, you need to show all your work and mark it before handing it in. So make sure you mark it against the answer key. Um, I take homework up until the test date. So once we've written the test for that unit, um, I no longer take the homework for that unit. So just make sure you're staying on top of your homework. In a subject like math, it's really important to practice because you can't really learn math from just watching somebody do it, right? So make sure you're practicing and correcting your work as you're going along. Um, other than that, it should be all you need in order to be successful. So just make sure you're coming to class, um, you're participating and you're working hard and you're sure to have a great year. So if you need anything, please reach out. I hope you guys take care. Bye.